Mayapur Parikram. Gang, cross the Gangi, then other side. So we have gone first time the Chaitanya Gaudiya Mat Ishoda. We are have Nandan Acharya Bhavan. Nityananda Prabhu first time came in his house and his secret place he lived there. He told if Supreme Lord Sri Krishna came and he will find me. So in this way, secret way, he lived here. Mahaprabhu came with Nagar Sankirtan, with devotees. Then he found to Nityananda Prabhu meet there. In this way, Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, they meet together. Then they have gone to Shivas Pandit house and they start Kirtan there. Nityananda Prabhu Milan. After then, we have gone to Yogpit. Yoga beat to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's birth place. All Vaishnavas, they spoke so many times. We are see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took birth. After then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was a small boy, then he played so many leelas. Like Sri Krishna Leela, so many pastimes Leela. So, Sati Mata gave name Nimai because he was born from under a Nim tree. In this way, everyone says Nimai. And other way, so many ghosts, here ghosts, anyone coming and catching the boy. So in this way, Sati Mata, afraid to the ghost, in this way, she gave his name Nimai. Harinam Sankirtan in Srivas Pandit's house. In this way, Srivas Pandit's house is Sankirtan Bhavan. And there have Adhita Charya place. Adhita Charya, he lived there sometimes. And Gadadhar Pandit also lived in there. So many devotees houses. And Mahaprabhu gave message to everyone, all houses. And he sent Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas Thakur door to door. Please chant Harinam, then everyone will be happy. And Chaitanya Gaudiya Chaitanya Mahat, where Srila Prabhupada started uh, preaching center and he did bhajan diya. So there have Radha Kunda and Sam Kunda. Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarsti Chaku, since 20 years he did bhajan diya and he, uh, he chant Harinam. One hundred crore, one billion. Harinam Sankirtan, Harinam Kirtan, so Harinam Jopa. After then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave darshan to him of Siddhanta Saraswati. Why cannot take sannyas? You must take sannyas and you preach everywhere. Mahaprabhu gave order. That time he told, I have no money, no people. How can do? Mahaprabhu told, everything will come. You don't fear. After three days, one lady came and she wants to take Harinam initiation, Diksha. Then Prabhupada told her, I cannot give because first time ladies come. So in this way, he is very shy, he is not giving. But she requests, if 
if you are giving me Harinam initiation, I am going to Bangladesh, Bangladesh, then I will bring so many persons and everyone there serving, young boy. Please give me initiation. At that time, Prabhupada gave Harinam initiation. Then she brought so many, many young boys. Bhakti Prajnana Kesav Gustavi Maharaj, Maso Aurulavi Maharaj, and so many persons, Siddhanti Maharaj, so many, many persons. Sixty-four temples in India. After that, he sent so many persons, like Bhakti Hidai Bhan Maharaj, Bhakti Saranga Gustavi Maharaj. They preach in England and they have gone anywhere. After then, his disciple, Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he went to Western country and he preached everywhere. In this way, Western Dharma is